everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be talking about how I save as a 15 year old and why I save the way I do and how that is helping me to save up for my Canon G7X Mark II which I am so excited to buy but I'm not getting at the moment which I will explain why later on in the video. Just wanted to put in a few disclaimers before we start. Number one, the way I save has basically been, been influenced off a YouTuber called Authentically Amy. She filmed a video on how she saved as a uni student and I just really benefited from how she saved, which I'll get onto later. The second disclaimer, I am not bragging about the fact that I have a job and I have money and I can buy an expensive camera because at the end of the day, I am a teenager and I do spend and so yes I am I don't have a lot of money saved in the bank but I do have a decent amount if that makes sense so let's get on so I have my little book here about what I'm gonna talk about so the first thing I want to start off with is how I saved my money when I first got a job I got a job at Woolworths last year in June so June of 2018 and basically I had two accounts my spendings account also known as a debit account and my savings account so my main thing with that was that I was going to not touch my savings account but have a spending account and I'm pretty sure I split my paychecks in half, half in there and half into my spendings. You understand that when you first get a steady income and you've never had that before, you just want to buy stuff that you've wanted for a while and couldn't get because you didn't have any money. So I did go through that phase, it didn't last long, thank God, but it's still looking back, I, ugh, the way I went about it wasn't good because if I didn't have enough money in my spendings, I didn't wait for my next paycheck, I would just take it out of my savings, which is not what you should do and I don't recommend doing it because then later on you're going to regret it when you only have maybe $100 in your bank account. Splitting my paycheck in half lasted maybe I think one three months actually maybe even just two months because it got to the point where I would just take the money out of my savings when I went out shopping and I needed to buy stuff because I just got sick of waiting for the money to come in I don't know why it happened like that it just did so at the start of this year I kind of got fed up with the way I was saving simply because when it got to Christmas time and I was um, buying presents for my family and friends. I, the bill racked up quite quickly just because there were quite a few people I had to buy presents for and I'm not afraid, ashamed to say it but I did have to end up paying my mum back some amount of money because I didn't have enough at the time and I did not want that to happen. Obviously after mum passed away I did go through a period where I didn't really spend, didn't really do anything um, and at that time I did have some money saved up then. But once I started to go out again, I decided that I would split the payment into 80 and 20%. 20% would go into my savings, 80% will go to me so that I know I'm getting majority of my paycheck to spend, but I know I'm still saving some. And that was working out well and with a few hiccups here and there where I did take some out of my savings. So then recently I started doing some research on how everyone else was saving and that's when I came across Authentically Amy's video. And obviously she lives at home, out of home and she's financially dependent. So it was good to, it was interesting to hear how she saved. She has four accounts, which to me at my age isn't necessary. And so I decided that I would have three accounts. Out of watching that video I'm not going to go into depth if you want to go and watch it go check out her channel it's a bit down further it's one of her older videos but it's still relevant so basically the reason why I wanted to open another bank account is because at the time of me trying to find a way to save I wanted to buy I still want to buy a Canon G7X Mark II because I know it's an investment I want to do what because I know it's something I want to invest in and I have for quite a while, probably since like I got a job last year, but I didn't find it necessary just because I didn't know if I would constantly be using YouTube, but I just love using YouTube and I've figured out that 
even if I, YouTube doesn't go, even if YouTube isn't in my life in the future, I can still use it to document when I go on holidays or go out with friends or, you know, I can still use it for photography even. So I knew it was a good investment. And so with that decision in mind, I opened another bank account with, my same, with the same bank and it's just another savings account. And the reason I've done that is because that account is going to become my long-term savings account. So basically, I do want to move out of home when I finish school. Obviously, it won't happen straight away because I won't be financially ready. But I do want to the maximum probably like three years after I leave school. So... Uh, the reason I want to do that is I'm really independent and I love um, cooking, I love grocery shopping, I love, I don't mind cleaning actually, and I just love the thought of having my own home to look after, my own like pets to look after if that makes sense, which I know a lot of other people would have that dream too. And so I thought I can't do that if I have one savings account because if I bought this camera, that savings for that camera would go out of the bank and my savings would probably basically be back to zero. So what I've decided to do is open that one up so that money is constantly going into it over the next few years so that when I do go to move out, I have money behind me, if that makes any sense. So the, re the way I've gone about that is instead of doing 80-20, I'm done. I really just want to apologize for my English this video. Oh my god, the amount of times I have stuffed up. I'm so sorry, I apologize. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Let's continue. 60-40. 60% goes into my spending and then I split the 40 up. So 20 goes into my long-term savings and 20 goes into my short-term savings. So doing that has made me extremely happy now because I can go out to the shops and buy something and not feel guilty about it because I know I bought it with the money specifically for spending. And so I know I can't touch my savings. Making this decision was one of the best things I chose to do because it allows me to save constantly and it also gives me the opportunity to buy things in the present and buy things in the future. And another thing I've decided to do is that if a lot of money ends up in my spendings account and I know I don't need that much in it, I will take an amount, amount out of that, split it and put it into the other two. So there will always be money going constantly into my short term and long term account whether I'm saving up for something short term or not because knowing me something new will come out or something will pop up and I'll go I really want that do I have enough in my short-term savings yes I do and I've also made the decision if there is something I really want and I have enough if I combine my spendings and my short term then I'll do that too because at the end of the day I use my spendings to shop so it wouldn't make a difference whether I used it on something that I was saving for or something I just bought when I went out. I know a lot of you would think three accounts is really ex excessive, but to me it works out perfectly just because I get quite guilty when I spend stuff. So now knowing that I always have money being saved for my future is so, it's just such a relief because I really, 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 really want to move out of home and live in my own home quite early on and to do that you need money and I want to have as much saved up so that when I do have to take a loan out or something like that I have the money behind me and the loan doesn't have to be as big as it would be if I didn't have a long-term savings account. I don't know if that made any sense at all. Moving on to the last thing of this video is when and why am I getting a Canon G6 what? Canon G7X Mark II. So, I'm going to be buying my camera at the end of June. Number one, it's going to be like a little present, birthday present to myself. And number two, because if you live in Australia, then you know that at the end of every June, it's the end of financial year. And so you get your tax back. And because I earn under 18,000, I will get all my tax back, which therefore means I will get a sum of money and I want to split that up into my accounts, which means I will have 
over the amount I need for the camera so therefore when I take that money out to buy the camera I'll still have money left over in my short term which will be nice so I've decided to do it that way knowing that I will still have money left over which is really 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 good and really exciting so I'm sorry that you have to wait another two months for it but trust me it will be worth it so that is all for this financial video I hope you all enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video and there's something else you want me to talk to you about or you have any other questions please don't feel afraid to leave in the comments I will answer them as best as I can but please keep in mind I am NOT an accountant I am NOT a financial supervisor I am a 15 year old girl who just decided to save this way so I made this video purposely because I know there's teenagers out there who are like me and do want to save money and you know it's always refreshing to see someone your age trying to do the same thing as you are but anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel subscribe if you're new to join the amazing family and I'll see you all in my next video very very soon goodbye she sees him walking in